About seven or eight years ago, one of my neighbors gave me some eastern red cedar, and he gave me a whole bunch of it, and it's just been sitting outside my shop for uh, all these years. And the other day, I finally decided to uh, take one of the logs. Uh, I took a log here about three foot long and cut it into uh, six of these bowl blanks. And this is the first time really turning anything very big out of this cedar. Okay, so I stopped last night at this point and uh, decided I would try to sleep on it here. You can see I've got uh, some stuff here I need to try to do something with. I've got a little limb was popping out here, but I, I think when I change the profile and chamfer this on down, I should be able to get rid of most, if not all of that. And then I've got this side over here, which has a crack. Um, you know, it comes to about here, but I think if I profile that, I should be able to get rid of most of that. Uh, but then you see I have this huge, uh, there was a bunch of bark in here, and I've been uh, scraping it out here with the awl, and it looks like it's got a crack running down it, so, and of course another crack over here, so... Not sure what I'm going to do. I thought about uh, getting some uh, resin and filling this up, but I'm really not uh, too keen on the look of uh, resin and cedar. So uh, I think I may just go ahead and keep going and try to see what happens. Try to get a recess down in here good enough to hold and then make sure when I'm hollowing out the inside that I'm using the tailstock and uh, be gentle with it and see if I can uh, get a bowl made out of this without having to put a bunch of resin in here so just leave the natural look so we're going to try that today and see what happens Okay, I'm not really filming a lot of this because it's uh, be pretty boring to watch, but what I'm doing is just taking the carbide tool and just kind of lightly scraping around here, trying to get rid of some of this stuff. Here you can see uh, I've still got a little ways to go here to get, get this chamfer down. And also this spot here is just about gone. If you remember, it was maybe about the size of a quarter or so. So it's just a slow and steady process. I have to keep stopping and sharpening tools, including the carbides, and uh, just trying to be gentle with it to keep the thing from falling apart. I've got a few cracks I'm a little worried about, but I'm just taking it slow and steady, 
and uh, we'll see if I can make it all the way to the end with this thing. Okay, I've got a few little marks I need to clean up. Uh, got this down to where I wanted, kind of got the shape. You can see how it goes in like that. And that other little piece of bark that was right here is all gone. And the more I brought this down, this, this crack kind of shortened up. So I think that might be okay. Still a little concerned about this uh, crack right here going right down in here. So I'm going to see if I can uh, get the bottom cleaned up and get a uh, mortise put in there that will hold. And then we'll be ready to uh, sand this thing a little bit and then turn it around. Okay, been out here uh, sanding on this thing. Got it really smooth. Still got a lot of little hairline cracks. And, uh, of course, I've got this big bark inclusion running right down the center uh, of where my recess is. So I'm going to see if I can uh, turn this thing around and start hollowing it out and just uh, kind of take it easy and see what happens. Hopefully the whole thing won't, uh, won't blow apart.
Okay, I wanted to give you a view of the bottom side here. Here you can see that huge bark inclusion running right down the middle of the bottom of the bowl and right there is a big crack that's in the side that also started showing up on the inside of the bowl. So I wasn't able to make the bowl uh, near as deep as I wanted to or near as thin as I wanted to. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it very much. And also if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please hit the little subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the little bell and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. I try to put out a new video every Saturday morning. So until the next time, thank you very much for watching.